Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow travelers. Oblix here. And today we're looking at our Watch Gang Black Tier September blind subscription. So, kind of unassuming packaging, gonna say. It's super, super light. Uh, let's get into this thing, take a look, and see what we got. Uh, opening duties today are gonna be by the Kershaw Skyline in limited edition orange. And, let's see what's gonna be the easiest way to get into this bad boy. I'm just gonna go this way so we avoid touching the box in any way. I'm a little uh, nervous by how light this is. So let's take a look. Light doesn't always mean bad. And you get a look before I do. Let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, big old thing. Let's get that bag out of the way. And we got a Chronologia. So, take a look at the pamphlet. Uh, okay, wrestling. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, so, let's pick a look here. Interesting case. Uh, I mean, kind of like the case, quite frankly. I don't know that you would use it for anything else. I don't like that it zips on the bottom instead of the uh, top. Uh, I mean, it, it's better for carrying, but I wouldn't carry anything heavy in it. But it is a, still a cool case. Got a little mark right there. There's Garbo on it. Let's pop this bad boy open and see what's inside. And there we go, the Chronologia. Uh, packed pretty well. Um, like nothing under there. And in here we have the Chronologia uh, International Warranty Card and it is actually for a rare change uh, marked with the date and the uh, retailer. So that's that's actually pretty rare. I'm, uh, I'm liking that. Um, and again, a very cool box. So let's take a look at this guy. Uh, get the plastic off. And I imagine we're going to have some more back here. We are. Fantastic. Got that gone. All right. So we got a chocolate brown, uh, hopefully leather. I assume that's leather. It says genuine leather. So we're going to go with that. Uh, strap with, uh, I'm not holding that very well for you guys at all, am I? Shame on me. So chocolate brown uh, leather strap with contrasting stitching. The actual leather feels a little plasticky on the top, but it's uh, nice and smooth on the back. Uh, it is a what looks to be a resin case. I don't know for sure that's the case, but it does appear that way. Um, you know, definitely a, a plastic of some form. Uh, all the way around. That's why it's so super light. Uh, and it is very, very lightweight. Uh, does have a unidirectional bezel, we're seeing here. Uh, with bright white uh, Arabics. And, you know, we have a uh, look to be applied indices inside. We'll know more when we get into it. Um, really thin. That's bound to be mineral crystal. Uh, super thin on the top up here. And the rattling you're hearing is actually the movement in the back. Uh, take a look. It is a marked case back. Let's see if I can focus that for you guys. Uh, so it is, uh, you know, you can see that it painted all up here. Now it is, let's see, 10 AUTM water resistant, uh, stainless steel and carbon fiber case so it is it says it's carbon fiber it does not have the carbon fiber look it absolutely has a polycarbonate look um but they say it's carbon fiber so there you go 
Japanese automatic movement. I bet you a dollar it's a Seiko. It is. And we're looking at NH35A. Uh, I did notice, just notice quick releases on the leather. Of course, the stainless steel display back. Um, crown is not a screw down. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a double pull. So, but it because it's Seiko NH35, it will hack and hand wind. Um, you know, uh, kind of a blacked out silver or a black chrome, if you will, on the hour minute. And second, there's a red tip on the second. It does look like we have some decent loom on this guy. Uh, we'll put the uh, the bright light on him and see what he does. Uh, definitely going to have it on the hands. That's probably about it. The bar indicators at the hours are probably going to have it as well, the indices. But it uh, doesn't look like the outside's going to have it at all. Um, you know, the outside bezel. Uh, decent click. A little bit of play, not bad. Um, by any means. The brown, I am not feeling the brown uh, with the black case uh, carbon fiber, if it is in fact, sure does look polycarbonate, I gotta say. Hang on, let me grab. Now, here is a polycarbonate armor light. Uh, and here's the Chronologia, and I, I don't know what model this is, I'll have to look it up. Um, but you can see there's a little bit of a difference. I mean, this one's obviously darker, and this one's a little more grayscale. Um, they both have that texture in them. This one does have a little bit more of a texture to it. Uh, so it's definitely a possibility. I mean, I'm, I assume they're not lying. Let's also compare it against a, uh, a Luminox, uh, also with polycarbonate case. Uh, this is a Navy, uh, Evo Navy Seal color mark, and... Yeah, you can see definitely a lot more texturing in this one than in this one. They're about the same weight, though. Uh, I mean, Luminox is slightly lighter, but it's also slightly smaller. And this is a quartz, and this is an automatic, so... Uh, interesting comparison. So yeah, we're probably looking at carbon fiber here. Definitely a, a, a different piece, an interesting piece. Um, I think the band would have been a little, the strap would have been a little bit better as a black strap or maybe white, you know, some additional color, but they give you the uh, quick releases so you can swap it out real easy. Uh, it is a branded buckle Chronologia. Uh, it is a, I mean, it's a good looking band, don't get me wrong. Nice done edges. I said it is a little bit plasticky up top, but not by any means bad. It doesn't make me feel like it. they're lying in fake leather and whatnot. Uh, it is a branded crown. Got the Chronologia C in there. Uh, that kind of high-tech looking C. Uh, let's check it out on wrist. Uh, wrist check today. I am Swartz Covenant because we got two black tier subscriptions last month. Uh, we got the Stramento Merino Missouri 2 and the out of order Casanova. Uh, one was our regular subscription and one we won. Uh, as part of a giveaway from the Watch Gang. Uh, I have not done the reviews on these yet. They will be coming out shortly. One of them I'm going to class a Walmart special, and one of them I actually like. Uh, let me know in the down yonder if you can figure out which is which. Uh, and then keep your eyeballs out for the review, and uh, see if you can tell. So we're going to pop off the Stramento. And... Pop the chronology on. I'll put it your way first, just so you can get an idea. Uh, if I can get the lights to behave and maybe get a little focus in there. There we go. That's it. Your direction. It is a larger piece. Uh, you got smaller hands. You're you're not gonna like it, but you guys know I like larger pieces, so that works out for me. Uh, let's put it on my way. Yeah, it slips on easy enough. Uh, the leather is a little bit tight, as most new leather is. Uh, these keepers are very thin, so I'm a little uh, hesitant about them. A little, a little worried uh, we're going to break them. Um, and there it is, my way. 
my way or the highway. So the carbon fiber chronologia something something. I don't know again what model this is. I'll have to look it up uh, to see. Uh, but there you go, our Watch Gang Black Tier subscription for September of 2018. Definitely an interesting piece. Uh, definitely not something I would have picked up in the store. I wouldn't have even given a second glance, quite frankly. The thickness of this bezel is, uh, you know, would have been a put-off for me. I would have just blown past it and moved on to something different. But, uh, you know, that's the whole point of why I joined the Watch Gang, was to see what else is out there and to kind of push me out of my comfort zone and get into some different pieces. Uh, so fantastic, you know, we're trying something, trying a new material, carbon fiber, uh, new company, Chronologia. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Full review will come soon, uh, hopefully sooner than I got around to these guys. Been working on some other things for the channel, but, uh, you know, haven't been just slacking around. We just haven't been able to get to too many watch reviews, but I intend to start working again on those this weekend, hopefully. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. Sure to appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me, as always. And until next time, you guys get out there and make some noise. See ya.